When I moved to Switzerland, I thought, yeah, Partners Group is a bit like Alp Invest, which used to be a very large yeah. fund of funds. And I think now you're a lot bigger than them, I think. Give us a like, quick overview of what Partners Group is. Um, almost like a supermarket of different investment yeah. activities, right? Yeah, happy, happy to do so. So Partners Group is a Swiss investment firm. It was founded in 1996, and since then the company grew from uh, zero to 142 billion of uh, asset under management globally. We invest globally out of 20 offices. We, uh, right now we have roughly 1,800, uh, a bit north of 1,800 employees. And, uh, and we do invest really across the, the private markets. That means that we go from infrastructure to real estate, debt, and private equity. Uh, within private equity, we look into different verticals globally, so from healthcare, services, consumer and industrials, and technology. Uh, myself, I'm, a, I'm part of the technology team, and within the technology team, we look at uh, buyout opportunities and growth equity opportunities. So that's, uh, that's our approach. It's uh, truly global across asset classes. We try to cover the market. Fascinating. And you said only private, nothing public anymore? Yeah, so Are there public funds also within Partners Group? I thought you were doing also public or only private. So when it comes to, to investing, we're focused on private markets. There are some companies that might be coming public and we, we might hold ah, certain so it's positions. All private now. But we focus really on, uh, on private markets. Okay, so very, very relevant for our conference attendees. So yes. we have like 200 speakers who could or should call on you, like what segments, what industry verticals, you probably saw the yeah. NOAA verticals um, are relevant to you. Is it all about software or are you yeah. looking also consumer internet? How is sustainability? And then also what kind of check sizes, like what, what is your investment criteria? Yeah. So when you think about the way we, we like to invest, we really start from thematic research. So the first step for our investment process is really spending literally months and years before we make an investment into a certain theme that we might like or not. Um, that could be you know, within software, could be within healthcare, could be an infrastructure theme. It's really across the board. And uh, what happens is that throughout that type of research, we typically identify either buyout candidates or growth candidates. Mm -hmm. So largely, it could be like a minority type of investment, could be a growth buyout. So you do both, minority yes. and majority. We can do, we have flexibility and, and, and to and do the so. majority buyout, you would also use debt, I guess, and yes. leverage. That's, uh, you know, like the, the core piece of, private, of the, our private equity business is the buyout business. Which is a traditional, yes. as we know it from KPR yeah. and Black. So, so you're looking at the tech sector, yes, and correct. You look at both minority and majority transactions. Yes, and it really comes from this thematic research because as we do it, we identify the type of companies that we like to back and own, and then it could be in some cases a buyout type of target. In some other so cases, what it could do be you a, like to own? What type of businesses? Yeah, so within tech, uh, we spend the majority of our time in B2B software and in uh, tech services. Within B2B software, we review quarterly the type of segments that we spend time on. Could be from um, you know office of the CFO to HR tech, business process automation, supply chain management and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, it's largely B2B software and uh, value add tech services. And uh, when it comes to check size, yeah. we, on the minority growth side, we go between 50 million and 200 million. That's the core of the strategy and north of 200 for anything that it's, uh, that it's majority. So when you think about the type of targets for our minority growth um, type of investments, we like to spend time on, uh, with companies that have at least 25 million of ARR and revenues, growing at least 25%. That's from a big picture standpoint how we... Um, how and when we they grow them. faster than 50%, you're... That's, uh, yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, uh, at that scale, it's, uh, it's great to see that type of growth. There are not so many companies. Uh, well, there are a few it. here we should talk after. Uh, <laughs> After our uh, thought. Yeah, talking about the companies here, can you name a few which are on stage at NOAA this year who yes. you were invested or you are invested in? Yes, uh, there, are, there are a couple. So there's, uh, there's WeFox, so on the yeah. insured tech side, uh, clearly like uh, one of the leading players within that space, going from Germany to multiple countries. And another one, it's, uh, it's Climeworks, of course, one of the. The One of the hype, the leading the Swiss companies yeah. in, the, in the space, clearly. So, how much do you, or where do you differentiate between, like, uh, I would say, institutional investor like the General Atlantic's or the insights of the world? I mean, being such a 
yeah, big money manager or like almost a, a fund of funds or you have direct investments yeah. in a big bit of both. And, uh, yeah. Like, is, is there anything different for an entrepreneur? Are you, are you requiring less reporting or you requiring more reporting or... Yeah, when because you, you were, what did you do before Partners Group? Uh, you were so I was uh, I started my career at City in banking, and then yeah. I was for uh, quite a few years at Access Industries. Exactly, Access on, uh, private equity and growth. It's like uh, yeah, almost like an institutionalized family office. Yes, I don't know if they had outside money. I don't think so. It's not. It's not. So it's only. Um, I, I, so what what does a founder um, should expect to have Partners Group as an investor? Yeah. So when you think about like the ticket size that we would like to deploy in uh, in growth, it's uh, and the 50 to 200 million um, checks that that I mentioned. We typically like to to get involved quite uh, quite heavily, so we like to have you know board representation and to really dedicate the time to to help the founders at typical inflection points, right? Because if you think about you know software companies of 25 million, if we were investing, we would expect them to get to the hundreds of million. The journey from zero to 25 is one thing, from 25 to 100, it's another thing. So at Partners Group, we have, see, we have seen scale, as in like some of our companies have been sold for multiple billions and so on and so forth. And we really try to help companies with international expansions, thanks to the, the global reach um, of, uh, of the firm, so if you want to move to the US, we have offices in uh, Denver, in New York. If you want to move to Asia, there's a Singapore hub. We have people in uh, Australia, on, uh, or you know, Japan and China, and so on and so forth. Uh, a key thing uh, that it's uh, popping up more and more often these days, it's uh, M&A. Yeah. So the leading companies that can still get funding and so on, they want to consolidate, they want to you know, uh, try to um, Try to get, you know, try to acquire companies that have uh, not, they don't, they can't raise capital anymore from uh, from venture capital firms. So that's the type of uh, of approach and the type of areas where we like to um, to help funders with. So it's uh, it's you know we are growth equity players, but we come from the private equity world. So we like to help companies really with hands on <coughs> approach. Nice. And you look at investments within Europe and also internationally, or you're mostly focused on. European companies. Yeah, myself, uh, I focus on, uh, on European companies, but we have a team in, uh, in uh, the US and we have people dedicated to growth equity also in Singapore. So in practice, it's a, it's a global effort and uh, it's really starting from technology, but also we have people now in healthcare and, uh, and of course also like, you know, related to, to climate zone and infrastructure. So when, again, like it goes all back to our thematic research approach. And uh, as we find out these companies, we now want to, um, to get exposures to growth, uh, growth companies across all our verticals. And your holding time is like a normal institutional investor, five years, seven years, or yeah. you have a longer patience? Yeah, no, I think we, it depends on the, on, from opportunity to opportunity, but in general, I would say it's, uh, it's quite a line in terms of, um, you know, the five years plus. There's one company I have to talk to you about that <laughs> after. Well, Giacomo, thank you so much. Thank you very much.